Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we are going to ramble about Solo, a Star Wars story. Or is that Soilo, um, as it's been called by, you know, other um, Star Wars uh, uh, people who are a little upset with uh, Disney Star Wars. But um, as promised from other uh, videos that I've done, as soon as Star Wars came out to the Dollar Theater, I was going to see it and I was going to talk to you about it. So right off the bat, I'm going to tell you what I thought about the movie. I liked it. I actually liked it. I had a feeling I was going to like it because I like Han Solo. Han Solo has always been uh, my favorite character. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit uh, about the movie and some of the things that I liked about it. Um, now, just to let you know that there are going to be spoilers uh, in this. Not a lot of spoilers, because I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the movie. But I just want to kind of give you some, uh, some of the little things that I kind of liked about it. Uh, so for one thing... I thought Alden Ehrenreich, I thought he did an okay job as Han Solo. I didn't have a problem. I, I never really thought that he wasn't Han Solo. Uh, I know there's been a lot of complaints about his performance, but I thought he was okay. Um, I liked the introduction of him and Chewbacca. Um, I know there's been some complaints about the shower scene. It was very brief, I thought, and he even made a joke about it. Uh, like, couldn't we have done this, like, separately, basically, is what he said. So he even made a joke about it. So, I, 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 unlike The Last Jedi, where the jokes seem out of place, nothing felt out of place uh, with this movie. Every, and it felt, it, to me, it felt like a Star Wars movie. Um, I, I, I didn't have a problem with it. It, it, I was okay with it. Like I was okay with Rogue One. Um, as far as the, the whole, uh, controversial thing with, uh, Lando Carusian, I sort of saw what, you know, people were saying, but he still seemed very much in character. Uh, he seemed very much like Londo. Um, I liked how his character was handled. It didn't seem strange and foreign to me. Uh, I liked the fact that, you know, he was definitely a swindler. And the, fir the first time with the card game, he swindled Han and tricked him. But Han got him back. Because it goes back to Empire Strikes Back, where when he says, you no good double crossing yeah <laughs> I thought that was good and also the part where they were gonna hug but they, they, it, they it looked like they were gonna slug each other they repeated that scene in Solo um some uh, uh another thing that I liked is how the Millennium Falcon was this nice, beautiful ship, and Londo was like babying this thing. And once it started getting shot at, he was like, he was he was kind of cringing, like, oh no, not my ship. And once Han got a hold of it, it was just getting beat up like nuts. And then finally, a crash, and this thing looked like a hunk of junk, which goes back to the very first Star Wars film, meaning Episode Four where Luke sees it. It's like, what a piece of junk. <laughs> so now we know, you know, why does it look like a piece of junk? Well, pretty much because Han got a hold of it. Um, and this is why this thing is all beat up and, and stuff. Um, and as far as him being uh, a scoundrel uh, and, and the introduction of his character and as far as him turning from scoundrel to good person 
I was okay with um, I was okay with how they kind of explained or hinted that he was a good person because it's kind of like the seed was there and they brought it out even more uh, later in Empire Strikes Back so I was okay that that was there um, but obviously he kind of fell off that track after Solo when he got more involved with Jabba the Hutt but um, uh, I thought the Kessel Run was really good um, I was glad uh, that it wasn't exactly 12 parsecs. He just kind of rounded down. So there's all these little hints in the movie um, where it wasn't quite the way that it was explained in Star Wars uh, Episode 4, but it was close, close enough to still make it a little, a little different. And... Um, what else? What else? What else was there about the movie? I mean, pretty much. I thought Ron Howard did a great job, and I think this movie, I think this movie, had a lot of unfair bias against it than what it deserved. So, for those of you who haven't seen it, I, I recommend that you see it. Um, I, I don't think you I don't think you're not gonna like it uh, if you if you like Han, Han Solo I think you're I really think you're gonna enjoy the movie I think it I think it's a fun movie um, I think it's a nice turnaround from the last Jedi um, I think it's I think it's a step in the right direction for what Star Wars should have been and I think it's a nice breath of fresh air so I, I don't understand the whole Darth Maul thing. I, I don't... If there's anything I really didn't like, it was that part. I don't think... I don't see how that added to the movie at all. They, they could have left that out. Um, but other than that, I was okay. You know, I was okay with that. And, and that's pretty much all I got to really say on it. So... Um, uh, go see the movie at, at the Dollar Theater, you know, or uh, see it on uh, pay-per-view streaming or just pick it up on Blu-ray. But uh, other than that, um, well, well, take it easy and we'll see you on another rambling video. Take care. Did you like this video? Well, you might like some of these others. I've got tons of them on a variety of different topics. They are just down-to-earth conversations of things that happen to be going on at the time of recording. Subscribing is an awesome thing, too, because it notifies you of any new video uploaded. Thanks for watching, and we'll ramble again soon.